Oh my god. Good morning guys, we are out here at Cockroach Bay Boat Ramp today. We are cleaning the boat out right now. But we put together a uh, pretty cool little live well system. I'm gonna show you. So I wanted to put a live well on this boat, but I need to be able to take it out for gator hunting and duck hunting. So we got us a little recirc well. So we're gonna go out today. I think I'm gonna buy some bait instead of netting it today. Cause honestly I don't like to throw my cast net on days I'm not guiding. But we're gonna buy some and uh, I'm gonna get a scoop or two. And see how well that live will keep some greenbacks alive because I like to be able to go back uh, on my days off and use this boat. And I wanna be able to start taking some live bait with me back here into the backwater. So the seagulls part of this video obviously too. But we're gonna get out here. We're waiting for the bait guy to bring us some bait. We're gonna throw some artificial lures as the tide drops out. Got like a 0.5 low tide this morning. So I'm thinking we should be able to get some snook, reds, maybe a couple trout here as the tide turns. <clears throat> well, if you've been watching my channel uh, for any amount of time, you kind of already know what I'm gonna be tying on here. We're going with my two trusty favorites when I'm fishing with artificial while I wait for the light, the bait guy. I'm gonna go with this mirror lure, uh, Little John, if I can get into these packs. Sometimes these packets, man, they're hard to get into. So we're gonna be putting one of these guys on and this fancy here gold spoon. Like I said before guys, if you can't catch fish on one of these two things, the fish just ain't biting. So remember that. Honestly, I've been pretty impressed with these Bubba pliers. I got them at last July at iCast and uh, they're a little bent, but the cutter's still cut, which that's pretty much the weak spot on every uh, everything that I own. Seems like the cutters, no matter how much money I spend on pliers, the cutters just don't, don't seem to work that well. We're gonna cut some of this fray off here. Remember when I'm tying this stuff, guys, I like to do the uh, over pollen knot on this guy. It's a repollen knot or lefty cray loop knot. I honestly, I can't remember. But super easy knot to tie. Nice and strong too is what I like about it. Now, if you're uh, wondering why I came out here to this morning, I like fishing the mud boat on low tide. So what we got going on tide-wise this morning is we got a, a pretty good outgoing tide till about 10 a.m. So I'm probably gonna fish right up until the tide switches and I got some other stuff I gotta do today. But uh, like I said, my goal for today was to come out, catch a couple fish on camera for you guys put some greenbacks in this little makeshift uh well it's not a makeshift it's an actual live well but i kind of made it into a recirculating well just something i could take in and out of the boat so water temps are down right now so i think it's gonna the bait should live pretty good in there so that's what we got right there i know you guys have seen this a bunch but that's a fish catching machine right there so got that one set up I'm gonna get my gold spoon set up real quick and we're gonna run back get into some holes look for some mullet that's pretty much what i'm looking for this time of year guys in the springtime i'm looking for birds and mullet so if you can find a shoreline that's holding a bunch of birds and there's some mullet there probably gonna have some fish there so a lot of people just think that when you're a guide that you fish the same spots over and over again and that's really not the case very frequently will I go catch fish at spots I've never even caught fish before. Actually, it happened numerous times last week. I've met places I've never even fished before, but you know what? The conditions lent themselves uh, for me to go over there and try, and sure enough, there was fish there because everything that was needed for the fish to be there. There was bait fish jumping, birds in the mangroves, and mullet. And every time I find those, you tend to find fish. So we got a gorgeous morning. I'm excited to be out off the clock, get a little me time in. Everybody needs their me time. 
be nice if I can get on like a nice little school of reds or something today. I haven't been on a nice redfish artificial bite in a while. Or live bait bite. All right, that's set up. I'm gonna switch the handle real quick. I'm a southpaw. All my clients are uh, usually not. I mean, I can reel both ways. It's 2023, that's my one boat joke. It's 2023, you can reel however you want. No one's gonna judge you. Although I feel like I'm judged fairly often for reeling with my right hand. All right, there we go, we're set up. We're gonna hop, make a little hop, a skip, and a run out to the back country. And uh, thinking we might be on a fish here in a couple minutes luck has it that way that's all I want to happen <sighs> gotta put my phone back in the case got some drone shots for you guys this morning man it was just too nice out not to come out here and do the whole shebang the people don't tell you when you're making all these videos is the the days when the you plan on coming out and the weather just sucks and you just have no want or desire to come film especially if you're out on the water every single day like I am I'd much rather pretend my house was a cave and not even leave it. Serious question there, guys. Are these making my boobs look too big? <laughs> I always feel so goofy when I wear this little harness, but you know what? You guys seem to like to watch the videos in that first person. I've been noticing. Don't think I'm not paying attention to you guys uh, about what parts of my videos you're watching because I'm trying to get better at this. And uh, I am always open to uh, constructive criticism, too. So don't be afraid to comment what you guys want to see more of. Because I'm an open book. I like to fish. I like to make videos of uh, going fishing. And uh, I like taking you guys along for the ride. So uh, that's kind of my uh, thing for the day. I think we're going to go Gold Spoon first. Whenever I'm uncertain about something, I always throw the Gold Spoon. Just gives me... Just gives me that more good morning confidence, you know. And I was actually running back here. I'm kind of in the back right now, not seeing a lot of mullet or anything. Not seeing a lot of anything, honestly. So, kind of feeling like I might end up out front or in the passes today. But you know what? It's been a little colder this week. So, I'm going to start back here a little bit and then uh, move my way back out all the way out to the front so like i said there's always a method to how i'm fishing these areas i'm not just coming out here running around uh you want to make sure you're methodical if you actually want to catch fish so that's what we're doing right now we're trying to figure out that pattern giving me desert vibes definitely getting desert vibes but i still have a couple of historical points i still want to fish i'm going to fish just what we're coming up on over here i'm going to fish over there and then we're going to move around a little bit and that's just uh kind of how i it works for me when I'm trying to figure out a spot, uh, an area I haven't fished in a while. During transitional phases of the year, like springtime, when we still have these fronts coming through. I can see that the tide is ripping through here pretty good. I mean, if I was a redfish, I would definitely hang out here. Be fat and lazy. This looks good right here. A bunch of mullet, a little bit deeper up here. See some birds, see some bait flipping. This is looking like a fish is about to hit this gold spoon. That's what I'm feeling like right now. Now I'm wanting to get excited and turn the trolling motor up, but instead I'm going to resist that and we're gonna keep it on the same speed as we head into where I think the fish are.
Man, there are redfish sitting right here in the shadows that I casted, and instead of them eating, they just spook. I don't get it. Little uh, sea trout, a couple little sea trout around. A lot of catfish. This is the most fish I've seen all day right here. I'm gonna see if I can't catch this trout. Oh, never mind. It's a catfish. Look like a trout, but it's a catfish. I'm getting catfished in real life fishing. Never thought I'd say those words. Just spooked a giant snook out of the mangroves when I casted. See if I see where he stops and we can catch him. I think we just spooked him. I don't think he thinks it's a boat. Floating with his tail almost out of the water. I'll try to get a little closer to him. That should do it. Stay still for me, buddy. And I spooked him. Can you believe that shit? Can you believe it, bro? <sighs> so frustrating. So, so frustrating for me. Oh, there's four redfish just chilling right here. Literally spooking from my bait. Wild. That one didn't spook. Oh, I see a little snook that came out. Looks like he wants to eat something. Man, everything is just sketch level 1000 out here. Oh, here's a nice red or a snook. I can't tell what it is. I just made a great cast on it. Oh, got him. Oh, it's a big trout. Oh, I'll take that. That is a stud of a trout right there. <laughs> that might, that's the biggest trout I've caught. Maybe ever. Maybe ever. Guys, wait till you see this trout. Gargantuan. Come on, stay on for me. <laughs> oh, that was worth the price of admission right there. I gotta rinse her off a little bit. Look at that trout i don't know how big this thing is but it's gotta be 27 28 inch trout just sight fished it <laughs> oh man all right we're gonna just uh i don't want to hurt this thing our trout aren't doing too well so we're gonna get her back into the water here oh, and there she goes Well, I think I'm just out of time, guys. Got me a big trout. Got frustrated by some redfish. Well, guys, I think I'm out of time. We've been fishing all day. Pretty slow bite today. I was on, I was on fish the whole last half of my trip. They just were super spooky. Didn't get any, but we didn't give up. And I learned a lot today. So that's what you always gotta do when you have days like this, even guys, you know, hey, but I'll take it. PB trout, uh, like I said, I'm pretty sure it's the biggest one I've ever caught. I may have caught one bigger. I know I've, my client, a client's caught one bigger. We caught a 32 and a half inch trout. Uh, this is like 15 years ago, but that trout is probably my personal best trout. I'm gonna say I think it was like 28, 29 inches all day long. So, 
we're gonna crank the boat up get on plane and uh we're gonna make our way back man we've got a long way back to a boat ramp hopefully you guys uh enjoyed this video you learned a little bit about how i like to fish uh, especially with artificials like i said i uh, even switched up baits today not very often i'm uh, not going with my confidence baits but everything i was trying wasn't working so but hey man that's fishing still an awesome day in the water great weather and uh, we'll see you guys next video